Hi, my name is Bob, and I want to welcome you back to this uh, version of my video of the, uh, my quad project that I have listed on the web. I told you in a previous episode that I was going to show you how I took the PVC, thin wall PVC, and I forced it over the top of the uh, inch and a half. This is actually an inch and a half. Uh, they're both about the same, and it's like trying to put a square peg into a round hole. But with a little bit of uh, convincing, a little lubrication, a bevel on the end of the inch and a half prod, inch and a half PVC, uh, it, it goes on. It's tight, but it goes on. It's secure. I don't even think you have to clamp it in place once it's there. Uh, but it does work pretty good. It's exactly what I wanted. Uh, it's not an expensive option. Uh, so I think a lot of people, and some people have these bottle jacks. Uh, I picked it up at an automotive store for about $30 if you don't have one. It's a handy thing to have in your car anyway. Um, it's capable of lifting six ton, and uh, there's very little pressure that needs to apply to this to get it to, to work, but uh, it's even pressure. And as you can see, I have it pressed up against the beam of my house, and there's no danger of the house going anywhere, at least I hope not. Uh, but it, uh, it seems to be okay. And it, I tried to use the hammer idea, and the hammer idea didn't work. Uh, it kind of caused the thing to get a little bit lopsided, and so I had to stop with the hammer idea. So uh, I just want to show you how, how well it works, and uh, then we'll move on to the rest of the project. If you like the adjustable boom idea, uh, it has the options of having it vertical horizontal if you decide you want to change it back and forth or once in a while it's up to you but uh, I think it's a good option so let me just show you how it works basically you have your jack you have this level I got a little level here to make sure it's it's where it's supposed to be the jack is, is tight the control here to allow the jack to work for the uh, thing to uh, pressurize the tube a little bit of uh, 2x4 on top so it doesn't damage the PVC and of course it's wood up here so it's not going to damage it up here and basically you just kind of jack it up and it comes up very slowly but it is rising and when you mark off 20 inches on the inch and a half PVC uh, you just stop so it, it does work very nicely I can jack a little bit faster if you'd like but uh, it worked out pretty good and it got the thing where I wanted it and uh, pieces fit together fantastic it, it, it was just I don't know why I didn't think of it in the first place that I'd be using a hammer on it because I almost destroyed uh, part of the thin wall PVC but uh, better late than never I guess so there it is and that's it that's about all it takes a little lubrication bevel the end of the inch and a half so that you can just get it started that you set this up and if you need more room on your jack, you just cause it to go down, put another uh, piece of cement block on top of it, or you can use uh, pieces of two by four, but a solid piece of block is a lot more stable. Make sure it's, it's level up and down and plumb, uh, and just go ahead and go for it. And it's, it's pretty amazing how well it works. So uh, we're going to move on with the rest of the project, but I just kind of wanted to show you what I did to accomplish this. Not complicated. Uh, anyone really can do it with a little bit of mechanical ability. So if you think you'd like to add that feature to your quad, I'd just go ahead and do it. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.